My inspiration for how I came up with the end product of all the pieces and parts is that it's a handle opera. There's a lot going on in it, so we're allowed to be very free and creative because the storyline is kind of all over the place in this really lovely, surprising way. And so I worked with Tomer, and we had a lot of wonderful things that we could play with. We played with the idea of post-apocalyptic. You know, the world was becoming very political. Right now there's a lot of haves and have-nots, so we're playing a a lot with the Romans versus the Egyptians, the Romans being very idealist, the Egyptians being more primal and kind of how they clash together. There's a lot of costume props. So that would be arm guards or we created a lot of like bulletproof vests and football pads and we covered them with a lot of the relics of a modern world, like the things that the rich had, it just becomes ornamentation. So you're gonna see a lot of those kinds of things mixed with some gas masks kind of nestled in. This is an interesting conundrum, really. We have so much going on in the Handel Opera. There's pants roles, so women playing men. And then originally Cesare was sang by a countertenor, a very high singing male. And so now we have an extra pants role because here in Atlanta, it's gonna be sung by a woman. I particularly have loved doing pants roles. They don't come up very often. Here we have in this production, I think we have four pants rolls in total. And it's a great time to do this because this is a part of the American conversation right now, the world conversation, with transgender and binary and fluid sexuality. So it's a great time to not feel like we have to sort of stick to these masculine tropes. For me, I think the number one thing to do is to not hide them behind sort of like a baggy, over, you know, hiding sexuality. I kind of embrace their feminine qualities, but really what I'm doing is trying to put forth like a powerful sexuality. You know, if you've ever been in a room where a movie star has walked in and kind of like the temperature changes a little bit, you know, you want them to feel when they come on stage this incredible presence, whether or not it's like a strong, masculine presence or just a sexual presence, but it's you just want to feel a shift and you, you want to be drawn to them as a character more than you want to see them being 100% male or female.